My name is Andy Ngo, and I'm a graduate student at Portland State. Back in late October, I flew to Las Vegas to attend the Committee for Scientific Inquiry Conference, or CSICOM. The conference was spread over three days and featured a large number of speakers who lectured on the importance of scientific inquiry, critical thinking, and the use of reason in examining important issues. The trip was deeply personal to me. The last time I was in Las Vegas was over 10 years ago. Back in 2005, I visited the city of Sin as a deeply religious person participating in an event for an evangelical Christian organization. At the time, I was a religious fundamentalist, a young earth creationist, and suffering from what I called same-sex attraction. Today, I'm an atheist, I'm openly gay, and finally, I'm proud of both. After I landed in Las Vegas, to my surprise, my dormant puritanical tendencies awoke. Sex was everywhere. I was a bit uncomfortable, perhaps embarrassed, but this time I didn't pass moral judgment. Unlike my visit in 2005, I wasn't here on a religious mission, but was instead attending a conference to develop better thinking skills as a skeptic. The Center for Inquiry is an organization whose mission is the promotion of reason, science, freedom of inquiry, and secular and humanist values. So the Committee for Skeptical Inquiry is an organization that is under the umbrella of the Center for Inquiry. And it's devoted to debunking the mythologies that people seem to cling to. The paranormal, a psychic ability, Bigfoot, homeopathy, where there's little or no evidence of scientific and medical efficacy. We can't go researching all the studies behind all the claims we have to consider in making decisions in our daily lives. So let's develop the tools to critically evaluate um, claims that we see in the media, in social media, and also learn who are some um, reliable sources and how do you decipher what are reliable sources. Use reverse image search. You know, did they just start posting in the last 10 days? The most common myth pushed by the organic industry is that organic farming doesn't use pesticides which it does, and oftentimes those pesticides are naturally derived, but whether or not something is naturally derived has no bearing on its toxicity, its environmental impact, etc., etc. The teaching of evolution is or still continues to be a big problem in the United States because there's a lot of opposition. A minority of um, American Christians who interpret the Bible literally. The world to them has to have been created specially over six days in its present form. If they're saying God created this way rather than in a fashion that actually accords with the scientific evidence, that is a problem for science education. But for me, skepticism is its a way to align my beliefs with reality. I use that by looking at the evidence. There's a lot of really inspirational people like James Randi, uh, Richard Dawkins, Kevin Fulta, who I've looked up to for many years. My name is Banachek. I'm a mentalist. I also expose fakes and frauds. What we do is we have out-of-the-box thinking. We like to think things, you know, it, things don't always look logical. We know that people can actually be fooled. And with the skeptical point of view, there's a lot of scams and cons out there. And who better to know the scams and the cons than the magicians? At CSICon, I was again reminded that knowledge claims must be supported by the appropriate empirical data and logical reasoning. While the bright lights in Sex of Sin City looked just as I had remembered from a decade earlier, I am probably not familiar to the city if it had a conscience. Freed from the constraints of dogma, I can now think for myself and critically analyze other extraordinary claims. Las Vegas is special to me. My trip here 10 years ago planted the early seeds of doubt. The process of growth has been slow, painful, and at times filled with more contradictions than I'd like to admit. Meeting people from all around the world at the conference showed me that being a skeptic isn't so much an identity. Rather, for me, it's a goal and a process.